So here it is, middle of February 2017. The full deployment of smart meters has been ongoing for the last nine or ten months, and I felt like it was a good opportunity to give you an update on how the smart meter project is progressing. A few days ago, one of our customers sent us a tweet. She's 73 years old, lives in Midtown. She's a fan of Josh Passner and Penn State. And she wrote, I'm almost 73. I love my smart meter. If you opt out, you're making a mistake. I'm saving lots of money. Her experience reflects the majority of our customers who either have smart meters, are getting smart meters, or can't wait to get their smart meter installed. And since we started full deployment in May of 2016, we're putting in about 2,500 smart meters a day. That's electric, gas, and water. So that means that we personally interact with about 12,000 to 13,000 customers each week just on the smart meter project alone. Things are running smoothly, but anytime that you're interacting with customers on such a large scale, we will occasionally make a mistake. So what kind of a mistake could we make? Well, for instance, if we install a smart water meter, there's a small chance that a few days after we install the meter, that a leak might develop at the point where the water line meets the meter. If something like that happens, just let us know and we'll rectify the situation as quickly as possible. At this point, we've installed more than 300,000 smart meters and we have about 700,000 more to go. Customers are already reaping benefits of smart meters. In fact, one East Memphis customer typically kept his eye on his thermostat, but now after receiving a smart meter, he has a far better understanding of his usage throughout the day. And this gave him the incentive to go out and buy more energy efficient appliances. Customers with smart meters can view electric usage in 15 minute increments, water data in hourly increments, and gas usage in daily increments. Customers are getting far faster service on utility reconnects, and theft of utilities is being averted. In addition, since October, our customers have saved more than $300,000 in reduced fees. Yet a few people are still criticizing smart meters and they're spreading false rumors and myths about smart meters. Why? Believe it or not, at the end of the day, much of the opposition is all about union dues. A union is a business. It gets money from union dues. IBW Local 1288, which represents about 1,800 MLGW employees, has strongly opposed smart meters from the start. Although MLGW will not lay off any employee, smart meters will help us eliminate about 280 positions through natural attrition. This translates to a big savings to our customers, but it also means substantially fewer MLGW employees will be paying union dues. Smart meters will result in substantially fewer number of meter readers because they won't be needed anymore. This means that thousands of our dog loving customers won't have to leave their gates unlocked anymore, worrying about their pets escaping. Smart meters mean that customers will never again have estimated bills or a bill with a mistake caused by human error. Most of our meter readers are great employees, but unfortunately a few meter readers have chosen to react to their fear of this change in an inappropriate manner. We have seen a marked increase in absenteeism among meter readers and higher than acceptable coding errors. MLGW is addressing these performance issues in an appropriate manner. Just earlier this week, I was contacted about a customer who had a conversation with a meter reader at the customer's house. And this meter reader told the customer 
that most people are opting out of getting smart meters because smart re meters cause fires and that homeowners insurance won't pay for the damage. Of course, everything that the meter reader told this customer is untrue. Smart meters don't cause fires, nor are insurance companies refusing coverage because of smart meters. So why would a MLGW employee tell a customer something that is so untrue? It all gets back to union dues. Not to mention that this is a year in which MLGW will renegotiate its memorandum of understanding with IBEW Local 1288. MLGW's philosophy is to always do that which is in the best interest of our customers as a whole. That's how we make decisions. And that certainly includes doing everything that we can do to keep our rates as low as possible for our customers. Smart meters are without a doubt in the best interest of our customers. They save money for the customer directly. They reduce MLGW operating costs. They eliminate utility theft. They eliminate estimated meter readings. And I could go on and on about the advantages of smart meters. The employees at MLGW who are dedicated to making the smart meter project a success are hardworking employees that you would be proud to know. They are working very hard every day to implement smart meters and are, and are endeavoring to do so in a way that does not disrupt your life. Let me tell you a story about a retired couple in Midtown. The husband was skeptical about smart meters, but they decided to give it a try. After they started following their daily consumption, their electric consumption fell by 10% year over year. I have more stories, like the families that struggle to make monthly payments who could benefit from prepay, which would let them set their own utility budget, which they cannot do now. Millions of dollars could be saved each year. This is a life-changing event for our customers. There is no logical reason to opt out of having a smart meter, not one. You should not let any perceived fear influence your decision on whether or not to opt out. The fear is being created by those that do not have your best interest at heart. The fear is being created by those who are seeking to protect union dues revenue. Make a smart decision and embrace smart meters and all of their advantages. Thank you.